Yo, what's up guys? Elf Kenny Bacon here with a Rock Shield game capture tutorial. This will be a tutorial in which I show you how to get the best quality from your Rock Shield game capture. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is obviously set up your uh, Rock Shield the, the correct way. And uh, I will show you that right now. So the first thing you want to do is go to display settings um, in your settings tab. Then, as I said, display settings, then video output settings, then uh, component slash D terminal. And then select 720p and then press X to save your settings then set your audio um, put audio input connector and save those and those are the settings that you have set on your console these will be sim similar these will will be similar on you know different consoles so you'll probably figure it out yourself so now that you set it set it up uh, correctly, you uh, want to open up your Rock Shield Game Capture program. Uh, I already have it opened, and you want to press Capture. So now that you're on this screen, the first thing you want to do is check if you have a nice image. If your image is kind of weird and have has a lot of black lines and and stuff, you uh, want to press Options, and then uh, you want to change your TV standard. So that is for when your image is, uh, you know, not right. For everybody, you want to select this input, not this one. This will lower the quality a lot. You want to have this one selected. Here you can um, kind of change where you can change where your gameplay, uh, where your gameplays are going to be saved, and where your audio is going to be saved. Then with audio input, um, you basically you want to just select the Rock Show Game Cap line. But if you're doing a live commentary, you can also choose to select your microphone, but then you won't be able to record your game audio. Hotkeys, you can do this if you want to, but it's not necessary at all. Um, and just press OK. So for the best quality, you want to go with AVI. It is the best quality. You're going to have larger files, but you know, it's the best quality, so that's obvious. Then you want to press Start Capture. And I'm just gonna select a weapon here and start capture. It's really simple. I'm gonna I'm just gonna do like 10 seconds or something of capturing. And when you uh, want to stop capturing, you obviously press stop capture. And uh, so now that you've done that. Um, you close your capture program and you open up the edit and share and you just wait until that is opened up and now you want to create a new prediction with white screen um, you can click more settings there are a bunch of settings here um, not really necessary you can pretty much leave them as default and press ok and then press ok again and you'll be getting this screen now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our gameplay in here so I'm gonna look for my gameplays folder right here and I'm gonna get my gameplay here um, I think it is this one yes it is you drag it here somewhere here and you're gonna see your image now you can change the brightness the contrast and the saturation there's not really anything you have to do uh, kind of a you know thing that a lot of people do is you know around 55 brightness around 55 contrast obviously you can do whatever you want here and around 64 saturation that's gonna make it look you know good uh, you can change these around whatever you want um, you know um, but a pretty cool trick is you can click the auto color correction thing and it will auto color correction it obviously so I'm just gonna put these back to you know the way they were and I'm gonna press the auto color thing and this will uh, analyze it and give it you know a uh, Kind of analyze and give it a good color correction that you know it's gonna look pretty not nice but you know if you don't like it you can chase it around you can really just you know 
look what you like the most. Uh, it's different for different games, obviously, so you can just uh, change it whatever you want. Um, obviously, if you want to put in like an intro, you put it as a second clip, um, like this. Uh, you know, God, come on, work. And then, uh, <laughs> God. Uh, well, you know, you, you put in a, an intro like. Search for my intro, which is right here, and um, yeah, go up. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you get the thing. You just uh, put it in front of that one, and you know, you're done. So now that you have your video, um, you want to uh, render it out. So you can now press this button, export as. You uh, can press yes or no. I'm just gonna press no. And then you uh, you can change a couple settings here. Um, these aren't really important. Uh, you have a bunch here. Just press all. And the main thing is video quality, f video file quality. You want to put this as Diffix um, uh, Diffix HD 720p. 30 frames per second is great for. Uh, let's say, you know, you want to use your clip um, for like gameplay commentary whatever you know that's pretty nice um, if you want to go and edit your clip and uh, be really fancy and have like slow mos in it and stuff I would say go 60 frames per second um, but you know for just as a default template I would use this one then you can change the file name uh, you can just, I'm just uh, Roxio test and uh, you just press create video file. You can change where you want to save it here with this. And then you can just uh, you know, save it wherever you want to. And then you can press create video file and it's going to render it out. As you can see right here, it's going to render your clip. And uh, yeah, you know, that's pretty much it um, for the Roxio video wave, Roxio video editor. I will now also show you uh, how to do it with Sony Vegas, which is a program that a lot of people also use and um, It is uh, kind of a bit more advanced. You have a little bit more options. So I'm gonna open that up right now There it is. Oh shit. I <laughs> clicked the wrong one. Sony Vegas And uh, yeah, it's going kind of slow because I'm recording everything um, and now you know I'm not gonna go. Th I'm gonna go through all the settings for Sony Vegas. You can just get these from uh, different videos. But uh, basically, um, I'm just gonna go through the color correction. You just get your gameplay again. You drag it into Sony Vegas, and you go to Video Effects Color Corrector, and you drag in a Studio to Computer RGB, and it's gonna make it you know a little bit better and you can then render it out with your own render settings that you can get from different videos. Uh, now that's pretty much it guys, it is really easy. Um, I'll put the final outcome at the end of this video so you can check you know, how good it looks. And uh, so yeah guys, if you have Roxio, I hope you uh, now know how to treat it well and everything. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, I'm out, peace. Uh, thanks again uh, guys if you liked it please like the video and if you want to see more please subscribe the videos that you uh, can click right now are an easy cap tutorial and some quality settings uh, uh, I mean a quality test for this rock show these are not um, as good as the ones that you are gonna get um, they're a little bit worse because I was still trying to uh, find out what was going to be the best